What's up, fool? This episode is presented by DraftKings Fantasy Sports. Check out what DraftKings has to offer this season with code FOOL, F-O-O-L. Because life's more fun when you're in on the action. DraftKings, the crown is yours. Gambling problems? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Age and eligibility restrictions apply. Void where prohibited. See DraftKings.com for more details. What's up, fool, man? What's up, man? We got What's Kyle Kinane right here. Woo! In the house. All the way from Chicago. What's up, yeah, fool? Man. Oh, man. The There's this restaurant, fine. Kyle. You know, they have Hooters, right? They have Hooters. Yeah. Hooters. Everybody knows Hooters. Mm-hmm. And they have the, the, the tilted kilt, tilted you kilt, know? Yeah. So this, yeah. we right here in LA, in the Latino neighborhoods, the, the uppity Latino neighborhoods where the where all the real estate workers work at moving on uh, well, where all the sell, people who sell homes in La- Downey live at Latino Beverly Hills that, look, pretty much they call it the Latino Beverly Hills bro. Oh, really? the rich Latino yeah, yeah, yeah. big time Cubans poor Latinos. in LA County yeah <laughs> like it looks like they brought in mini mansions into that neighborhood so they have a place called Ojos Loco which is called um, Crazy Eye mm-hmm. and they sell um, mariscos which is seafood and they sell like a mixture of Mexican seafood with fried fish, shrimp cocktails. But they now they also make sushi now, a little a mixture of both, <laughs> right? But the girls, all the girls that work there have only fans, <laughs> and they're super hot. It's like you walked into a place where, where like all the cartels hang out at. You know, like the chicks are hot. So now they're coming down on them, and they want to shut them the down city, cause <laughs> because they opened one near a, a church. A church and the high school there. Well, so if you look at the Instagram, you'll see, like, all the craziness. Yeah. They just got to give a cut to the Vatican now, and it'll yeah, be man, all right. Yeah, like, shouldn't you believe in the power of the church, that the, the Lord is strong enough to lure the sinners away from Ojos Locos? I don't know, it's, man. Do it, Show the picture of the chicks that work there. More like Nalgas if, Locas. If you go huh? on the Instagram, you'll see, like, how, like, <laughs> compared to Hooters, it's crazy, bro. <laughs> it's like three levels above. Hooters. It's shooters. Because <laughs> it's butts, tits, and... Because I think the, uh, the city's trying to close them down, or they're finding them because the... They're just, the butt cheeks are just I mean, hanging I think out, we, you know? I think we should go to make sure. Like, you know, you can't believe the internet. You should go to find <laughs> out for yourself. Get a little see sample. if it's really as sinful. So trying to shut them down, Rizzo? <laughs> Yeah, so uh, the church has been trying to shut them down for like I think like a, over a year already, and then they're right Still next to the worked. high school. So yeah. like, I mean, I can see the high school get a little more bent out of shape. Yeah, church, come on, man, believe in what you're selling. If you're a church, it's so funny though because all those places, dude, have like always had provocative women, but now it's the next level. They all have BBLs. You have to have like you know OnlyFans pages. Like these women have fans, bro. Yeah, but I, th- I think it's mostly like wives and girlfriends are like complaining about this, you know, like their husbands are going to the place. But what's, <laughs> but why, but like, but then a strip club will be somewhere and then that's just there and people are like, yeah, it's a strip club. I guess this is more kind of like anybody can just, because it's like you can just say, like, I'm going to go eat, you know? Like, yeah, you, you, fuck, come, you, know? you go there with kids. <laughs> I mean, a, you, yeah. you can live and go to a strip club too. <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> Strip clubs have buffets. You know? <laughs> so they want um, Ojo Locos? Oh, Downey Dress cl- Code right there. Oh, okay. So they're just going to cover them up? Yeah, it's on the news. Oh, so they're going to get him on a technical. When I was doing stand-up comedy in Montebello, California, I had a room there for a Wednesday night. And that place, the girls had little skirts too, like little. They remember, remember how little they were at one time. Yeah, but that's all like conducive to people selling schooners and beers because yeah. you want the girls, yeah. you know. But they were out. low, high, no, no. and they, they were, had they had the little shorts under them. You know, they were like bloomers, bro. Yeah, because I remember the one of the girls I used to date. She goes, "Oh, I hate working at night. Sometimes guys, they guys want to tap me for another drink. Then they grab my thigh and they go, oh, sorry." Yeah, I wouldn't agree to that. I don't think that's cool. <laughs> yeah, Did that happen to all those <laughs> You think all those locals are doing side business, bro? Prostitution or something? I don't know about prostitution, but I, I definitely the t- the the more the tip, the more the grab. But Whoa. so I, you, I've uh, seen it. I've seen it there. I've I seen those you, locals all drunk balling. So you right could there. eat rest. You could eat. I've like, been there before. So you could be there going, man. Give me um. A fried fish, sh- shrimp and rice, and some refried beans. Some also, fish I fish. want that girl from. 
mutual god to sit on my lap. I think if the food's not good, then yeah, they're probably also prostitutes. But if the, <laughs> I heard the food is good though. So yeah. then they don't. Yeah, then, it's all right. Then it's like it's legit, right? Yeah, it's like a it's good. good. One. It's nothing out of you know. It has to be good enough to where, like, somebody's girlfriend is like, yeah, okay, let's go, like. Hooters is still like, ah, oh, this isn't bad. Like these are okay wings and stuff. Like you could still like bring it. To, like, yeah, the wings are pretty good. All right, they are pretty good at Hooters. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not, but it's also, I mean, Hooters looks like the Vatican compared to this <laughs> yeah. so it's a little more. Oh, this good. is like uh, this is a, this is like Hong Kong on wheels over here. Fuck, dude. <laughs> there used to be another place that was similar to all those locals. It was called um, Sushi Loco. Sushi Loa. Sushi Loa. But they would like also dress like that. They would dress like that because there's a place oh, called really? the Perijuete of the Norwalk that they all dress like that. They're all in like little schoolgirl outfits, but big butts, big busts, and like, you know, those big old ladies. Hey, the mayor of these cities are just sitting fat, huh? Collecting checks. <laughs> yeah. I think. Because when I went to go to the Southgate Parade, I, I, I was like on a Southgate Parade, you uh -huh. know. I was I, I don't on know the floats was, and all that. I was on a, I was on a low rider waving <laughs> yeah, Emilio yeah. Rivera from Sons of Anarchy <laughs> and the Mayans. He was like the main guy, you know. Was this on Tweety? Mm -hmm. On Tweety, yeah. And oh, then the mayor right. showed up. And it was some old white dude, bro. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that he's just sitting fat, bro. He don't even care about none of this. Everything looks I mean, fantastic. Yeah. You said you knew him, right? Uh, the mayor? I don't know the mayor of Southgate. <laughs> What's he on Greenspans or something? <laughs> no, that's, funny, that's funny. When we were setting up to go there, that's where Greenspan is. Greenspan is uh, a, rest, a place where the Cholos go everybody in LA has bought a Pendleton there. Yeah. And if we go back to what you're... Oh, I think I've heard of it. It's like, it's like probably like, what, like uh, 10 miles from downtown LA, like south? 10, 15. Yeah. I was going to say, if you go yeah. back to um, uh, the wild, what do you call tortillas, didn't the mayor of Southgate used to go there? The vice okay. mayor. Oh, the, okay. His uh, little assistant. He was there just Billy. like... Yeah, bro. Yeah, I remember this. They were having fun, bro. This yeah. guy named Billy. Good times. He was uh, uh, the the vice mayor of um, Southgate. And his brother and all his brothers were like in construction or in their windows or there were anything that has to do with construction yeah. or auto building. And we went there. So, uh, I guess somebody crashed uh, Willie Barsena's car and he took it to get it fixed there, bro. That's one thing you don't do, man. Take this advice from me. Anybody that says, I'm, I'm going I'm to take care of your car and I'm going to do it for half off, don't <laughs> take that deal, man. There's Bondo involved. You're going to end up being there all day hearing stories, man. <laughs> Dude, Just pay the regular yeah. money and get it done fast. We were there nine hours, bro. The whole day? Damn. The whole day. Because he he'll work on his car and then work yeah. on another car and he'll work in five cars at a time. Then somebody will come in and go, oh, yeah, man, I'll just park it right here. I'll get to it. You can't say anything because you're getting a deal on it. And the whole time the guy's <laughs> talking to you guys? No, I, I would have left, man. There was a dog <laughs> there. I'll be back, dude. Yeah, there was this vicious rabbit dog there. And he was just <laughs> barking the whole night, bro. Never, he was not trained. Junkyard dog. Nothing, dog. <laughs> He was like a junkyard dog. He probably, eats, he probably eats burritos at Ojo Locos. <laughs> and I asked him, you know, man, that's a vicious ass dog. He goes, oh, man, it's a good dog, man. I paid $8 for it. <laughs> but he was saying, he said it, bro, like he paid a million for it, dog. <laughs> One million. That was said, ocho dollars. <laughs> Eight rupees. Eh? Anyway, so <laughs> hope he's not listening, but one time. What up, Billy? I went to the. I hope I never run into an $8 dog. <laughs> oh, that sounds yeah, probably horrible. It's a trip bro. to a hospital, you run into an $8 yeah. dog. <laughs> It'll probably be at Walmart at 2 in the morning. <laughs> and this guy who probably. He probably he probably breeds mini pet bulls, bro. Mm -hmm. And, and then he'll probably have like <laughs> five blind ones with an, in a box. And he'll get those for eight dollars. Yeah, yeah. Put some sunglasses on. It, it doesn't know who it's attacking. This yeah, one's man. only got three legs. It, it seems like everybody's <laughs> breeding dogs, right? Dude, I, you know what's crazy in California? It's, a, it's supposedly outlawed, but I see it on uh, social media all the time. I see people. Like, I don't really? get it. I like, see women who have OnlyFans. They're selling their bodies. They have fucking a whole uh, reptiles for sale in their house. Boas and shit. Boas, that. bro. Side but that's bro. like gangster bitch shit. How can you yeah. like sell ass on OnlyFans but still have time to sell a boa constrictor? 
Is because some... that's, that's like a 15 year old metalhead's dream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's ass and, exactly. ass and snakes. Yeah. That's, yeah. Is she tatted? Yeah, my chick likes me. She likes Maiden. She's into reptiles. I'm probably yeah. going to marry her, dude. Her You're Snake. a junior in high school. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, that's man. That's a rad her, bitch right her there. Her sentences bro. end with a riff. <laughs> yeah. She's going to pierce my ear after school, <laughs> man. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> But you ever seen this guy that hold the 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 they saw the miniature pit bulls? They don't even hold them right. You see them fill up? They're like yeah. put, a, put find a photo, find a good one. Of their one. feet are up to their. They face cost like right ten here. G's, ten thousand yeah. dollars for them. Yeah, and lifespan and two I, weeks, bro. And, and, and if you're made. out there, man, if you're a breeder, good luck to you, man. But I'll never buy one of those dogs. First of all, those dogs only live four years, bro. Yeah, dude. They only like live a, four years. Well, because like a lot of them are inbred, so yeah. that's why they're crazy. And they the never, breeding. you notice yeah. that those dogs are never walking, bro. They're always holding them. Because the little dog, his little chest, it's already hitting the floor. It's not even an animal, bro. It's a lizard. It's like a Look Lord Honda, the, bro. It's just yeah. scraping. It's like having a fast No, that's a regular like a one, though, but the turtle. miniature. A fast turtle, yeah. Yeah, because it's still got a good bite, but it's just low to the ground, you know? Yeah, it won't let go. <laughs> you got to put your finger in its butt. But yeah, they're selling those left and right, dude, on the internet. I, I saw one that looked like a little what? cheetah. What corner of the internet? I'm in. The, I'm in a whole different part of the internet than y'all. We, we gotta send you links, bro. <laughs> we're, in the, we're, we're in the abyss. <laughs> I mean, I guess the algorithm's different. I'm not getting many pit bulls on mine. I'm getting, I, I I'm getting did a lot of cat videos. <laughs> I did a house show. Uh, somewhere in Victorville for somebody who breeds dogs. This guy told agent. me. Huh. This guy told me he <laughs> did comedy in a kennel. <laughs> My agent. This guy told me he jacks off dogs, bro. That's how he makes his money. And he had a nice. I mean, it's also well, Victorville. Time, you know? How many times did you have to do it before you left? I mean, that that term is breeding. <laughs> you know the I show. Is, you know the show. Otherwise, that's a wild only. Fan. You know the show sponsored by DraftKings, right? Oh shit! Dude. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I gamble with dogs. <laughs> but it's weird because there there are dog breeders. I went to do a rat job at a dude's house, and uh, he's all, you know, an AC guy. I'm all. <laughs> he's like yeah i got all this dog hair on my unit <laughs> i was like oh, oh. so i guess from all the hairs from the dogs it plugged up, plugged <laughs> up his unit and i was like oh, did you get a brush bro oh, that's uh that's down bro. Dad, is that crazy he was and he was breeding uh short hair dogs rottweilers that's a lot of short hairs in an apartment in a house bro Oh, they're fucking up my pool too, bro. Yeah, those. Yeah, the oh, the people just have like they just the dogs run the house, and you're just a roommate at that point. <laughs> they're just eating your furniture, like just. I got there early, uh, and I guess what he does in the morning, he just uh, he sprays off the concrete, sprays off all the shit, because they're all in kennels outside. I'm also this is every day you're doing this. I don't get it. It's crazy. It's like a fucking compound. It fucking dude, stunk. My friend's dad, um, just doing. I used to know his name was Nacho. You just a regular dude. Um, his dad had a one of those vans that looked like a UPS van, but he didn't deliver nothing, dude. <laughs> he just had the van for transportation. And that was the only transportation, bro. <laughs> for the beach, yeah, got a good man. deal on it. So there was all there was no windows, dog. Damn. And that fool started breeding Doberman pinchers inside there Wait, in, in the, the apartment. Oh, okay. Oh, and shit. This, is a, this is a housing project, bro. <laughs> he had like eleven dogs. Dude. You can't even do that there, right? Nobody wanted to buy them, so they, they were getting bigger, dog. And this dude, every time he opened the door, I smell them. Nine of them will run out and chase everybody, bro. <laughs> not trained. Start not humping just everybody, just bro. Move. You just move. They were not even <laughs> fixed. The house smelled like shit, uh. dog. It was still clean, but it smelled like shit. I think a lot of breeders are like that, dude. And I think that it's just money is ob objective at that point, not giving good dogs to good people or whatever. Well, yeah, that's that's why you found a like a. Like some of them shouldn't exist. Like French bulldogs, ones that they can only be born through C-section. Like the what dogs, the fuck? That's a hybrid. Those, so right? That's the one I'm talking about. Bulldogs. The mini French bulldog. Yes. Yeah, they can't be born normally because they'll like tear the like boat. alien belly out of the moms. They have to be born through C-section. Too big, like, right? We're not supposed to have those anymore. They're not supposed to exist. No, these were all wolves at one point. Yeah, it's and original now, dog. And right? now it's, it's a just a big-headed bowling ball thing that can't breathe right. That has to be c-sectioned out of its mother like maybe we should knock it off man. if you can't push it throughout naturally then it shouldn't be here uh, no. listen bro how are you gonna be here bro i was born c-section so i shouldn't be here bro I, i'm gonna knock you a c-section bro your mom had a small wound small mom, they cut me out of my mom's small stomach panooch? something was going on i bet your mom was one of those paisa ladies bro that they just said they just told her you need a C-section, and she said, "All right, whatever." <laughs> so back then, they were pushing C-sections. Hey, she probably—that's hey, what they told me to do, and she did it. 
Right, Lisa? So most most women. They're, they're pushing C section. They still do it today. Similac, so you won't breastfeed. They still do it today. Yeah. Is it really? They really? tell you they get Philip with a C section, bro. Oh, you're a C section baby, dude? I came out like this, dude. Hey, like what if you're like a zombie, dude? <laughs> what if you're a blood, like a hardcore blood, you know? Yeah. Like, and you, you're out there with a blue, with a with a red rag, yeah. and and, and then they gotta walk up and tell you, man, your wife gotta get us. Oh man, how do I want to tell this guy? <laughs> <laughs> your wife needs to get a uh, slice, <laughs> homie. <laughs> it's opened up. It's a procedure. At that point, it's called a procedure. <laughs> yeah, somebody's a, getting built. She for needs that. a cesarean. Oh, fuck still, all no, that. Still no. She about to get jumped. <laughs> Slice. So you're him. a C-section, huh? C-section, dude. So when they opened you up and you came out, they had to cut your umbilical cord at the same time. I don't know. I was. I, I don't remember. I think it's the same thing. <laughs> they hold it for a second. That's a good and they answer sew them for up. that. Yeah, <laughs> not really. But a lot of women get torn up from that. From like a lot of uh, what is that? That uh, tissue, scar tissue, and stuff. I think yeah, mama has like yeah. a like a yeah like a gash or something like that. I like remember stitches. this girl said, "I can't even feel something on my side of my stomach." I was like, "Damn." Oh, but she's a Jedi. <laughs> it was a fucked up ass <laughs> scar, bro. What's up? We got Kyle Kinane right here. Right in the yeah. We have a new album, a new special coming out, man. Mm -hmm. With 800 Pound Gorilla. Yeah, man. Woo! I call it Dirt Nap. Dirt Nap? Yeah, that's why it was my cat's name. <laughs> <laughs> cat named Dirt Nap. That's what have you always had funny. cats? Yeah, I like them. That's why all this dog talk. I'm like, yeah, dogs are crazy, man. Cats are just hanging out. Cats don't try, care, dude. Not cats trying to kill. Not trying to kill nobody. They don't want to be your friend. <laughs> no, just roommates. Cats are chill, man. Yeah, They're dude. doing their own thing. You ever had cats? I have I have a stray cat that comes every day for food, and I I, I named her Gloria. Bought her a little house outside. Yeah. That's what this one was. Then it was like, let's see if he'll come inside. And then it started coming. Then we just put a pet door in, and it was kind of just. It was like living with another comic. Like you here this weekend? <laughs> oh no, I'm out. I'm out. Did you live with other comics before? <laughs> I have, yeah. Like how many at one time? Ooh, oh, at most I think like just one other one, just like a roommate. Uh, I live with I live with Matt Bronger. I live with uh, John Vargas. Uh, that, that I think that's about it. I'm trying to think, yeah. It was mellow though. We weren't we weren't here like in L.A. or in Chicago. Here in L.A. Because I've seen mm -hmm. I've seen uh this, there was this documentary that came out like a while back uh, on Vice about these comics that lived in a house in Highland Park. It was like at least thirty mm -hmm. comics that lived in a house in Highland Park. It was like supposed to be like the whole like. We're, we we sleep here and we do comedy here. It was crazy. It was like a whole like it was like the it was, yeah. it was like the Lost Boys kind of fucking situation. What bro. year was this? It was like two thousand. It was like the mid two thousand ten. So it's like 2015, 2016. Yeah, there was a crew out there like and it went. It was like they kept flipping. Like if anybody moved out, it was it was kind of like that. Like that was a priority spot. Like yeah. Also, they I think they just kept it cheap, so it was affordable for comics to live there, and they were taking care of each other. So. I think that was like a good vibe. That's like old punk house type of vibe. It was like, it was like a punk rock kind of vibe because it was yeah. like kind of like they were like, it was just like they were getting drunk and comedy partying living. doing comedy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was a little like, hostile. That's, I, mean, I, I, like, I dig that. It was like, I, super, I don't, I, I don't want to hang out with that many comics all the time, but yeah. for them it's good. <laughs> we I, eat, I, I sleep, and breathe. breathe but you, you live in the house with four comics. Who, me? Yeah. Uh, I lived Echo with. Echo Park. Uh, but Dodger Stadium. It was me, Johnny, uh, this one guy who did improv, and this other guy who uh I don't know what he did. I think he went to school. It was it was a cool little spot right there in uh good friends. by Dodger <laughs> Stadium. Yeah, it was cool. I don't know what he did. I, think I was just in my school. room watching friends the whole time. Dude. <laughs> He's an assassin. <laughs> good times, man. Did, did you, you live, who, like did you live did you live with comics? Yeah, I live with one comic and then I moved out and another comic moved in. Yeah. Dude, it's funny when I moved out of that place. I still had my I, my ID still set that address. Oh yeah. And I remember one time Lisa and I we were like having a fighting, and I had nowhere to stay, so I I, I, I called I called up a locksmith and I told him I was locked my house I was locked out of my house and they opened the door for me, bro. And I slept in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's smart. You didn't, you're a you didn't house know kid. your old roommate. <laughs> huh? You didn't know your old roommate well enough to just give him a call. Nah. <laughs> you, you, oh, huh? Okay. They were in town, no oh, key, no nothing, so you dude. Went for the B and E job. <laughs> <laughs> I said it's cheaper to pay sixty dollars, dog. My so I paid sixty dollars, dog, and I knew they were gonna be gone for two days. So I just slept on Lloyd Christmas bed, bro, and put a, sh a clean sheet over it. And 
Relax, bro, and made some omelets. <laughs> nobody, <laughs> nobody knew nothing. It's the first time I mentioned this. My, my girl, you're all stealth. My girlfriend, when she needed a place to stay long before a date, she would go to like open houses, like real estate open houses, but go to like the last, like when they knew the realtor wouldn't be there, and just go like when they're showing apartments, like oh. Yeah, go on in. It's open. She would go at the end of the night and just stay there for the night and use Whoa. the bathroom. And yeah, I heard morning. that's a good little scam. I like I like the little hustles that aren't hurting anybody. I'm not trying to rip anybody off. I don't rip nobody off either, man. I just yeah. didn't even eat food. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, was, I, was, I couldn't even sleep, bro. I was like on a good one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> What's this she going to wear off? Let me just never. <laughs> I felt like Joe Diaz, bro, showcasing for Disney. <laughs> What's next, cocksucker? Oh, he was on a Disney show, yeah. Really? I saw that. Yeah, I saw that because my nephews who watch other show, it was called, what the fuck was it? It was like a karate show on Disney, and he was like, he played like a meatball boss. Like, like, like a, a guy who owned the meatball restaurant. And Italian Americans, all right. Yeah, yeah. Don't be rude. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Also, Joe Diaz in a, he's in like in a Christmas movie yeah, every the year. The dog that saved Christmas. He plays so many like uh, like the so dog many, who saved Christmas. Yeah, he's like in so many like family friendly movies. But it was, I think it's called a uh, kicking. It. I think the really? yeah the meatball boss. Yeah, it was funny. Like like he was trying to fight like, a restaurant next door. Give him some Joe Diaz, bro. They really didn't do any background checks, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Give me some Joe Diaz, dog. Mm-hmm. Listen, cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> the laugh at the end, fool. Give me another one, dog. Yeah, one more, dog. Rizzle, you're fucking up. Now, I remember like uh, like, like 10 years ago, I remember uh, when, it, when, it, when I got with my ex, and I was just, I was in a honeymoon stage, you know, I was hanging out with her all the whole time. Honeymoon. Huh. And he gave me a car. He's like, listen, cocksucker, I know you're fucking in love with that Mexican pussy. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while out there. Ha ha, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking up. <laughs> you told me that. <laughs> Listen, meatball. Yeah. Like, she's Salvadorian. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> in that case. In that case. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, just can't, I just can't imagine some kid like, oh, the meatball boss was funny. Let me go through that IMDB real quick. And then <laughs> you're finding the rest of Joey Diaz's catalog out there. Yeah. God, I don't think I'm supposed to be watching this. <laughs> well, that's the guy who kidnapped people. <laughs> so the show was about, it, it was about a karate dojo inside a strip mall. And it was next to a, a falafel shop. And I guess the meatball shop who was trying to fight the falafel shop. It was, my nephew used to watch it. was silly, dude. That's funny, bro. Yeah. But those shows were kind of funny, bro. Because I remember I used to watch this one kid show, but it was with that punk band, the Aquabats. <sighs> Oh my God! Oh, guy. that was uh, a Aquabat Super Show. For I, I recently saw. You I gotta tell you that. Yeah. Go for it. Really, this to watch. I recently saw Kyle Kid in a movie last week where he got his ass beat. Dog, it's fucking hilarious. Oh yeah, I got punched out by Jeremy Renner. Dude, oh, what? that movie yeah. was fucking guy, funny, bro. bro. Yeah. Will Ferrell and the his town wife, or what? Will Ferrell yeah. and Amy Poehler, they open up a casino inside their house yeah. to 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 um get to get money, bro, because they're like flat broke. And they're gonna dig into their daughter's college tuition, so it starts off, bro. That his fight turns into the fight club for the casino, bro. Yeah. The two <laughs> bitches are gonna fight, dude. It's good, dude. It's hilarious. What's it called? It's called the house. The house. The house? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was, I was like shit. still starstruck by stuff. Then Jeremy Renner's like, "How's it going? All right, fake punch." And then he fake punched me, and then that was it. And he just like went, out, "I'm out." Like that was his day. Just rolled wow, in to dude. just like kick, a kick my ass, huh? nailed it. And I was like, "Ah, oh, that was so awesome. Yep, that's badass." <laughs> Did I get punched at the beginning of that yeah. one too? Yeah. Punched out? Yeah, in the bar. No, in the, by the black guy with the, the big eyes. Yeah. Oh, Cedric. Yeah. Yeah. First, Cedric yeah. punched me in that one too? No. I didn't watch it. You got punched by an Avenger, homie. Uh, yeah. Damn, bro. <laughs> yeah. I guess, yeah, when you frame it like that, it's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> it was funny, oh, yeah. dude. The movie was funny, man. The House? The House. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was fun. It was like the only like massive movie I've ever done. It was pretty. It's badass. Dude. It was How long like, does it take it to shoot dude. it? Like a long time. They had to keep rewriting stuff. There was like I don't. There was supposed to be a whole scene where Mariah Carey was in it, and she was I don't, like I don't know like what am I gonna do ruin my career? Uh, she was like so <laughs> she was so crazy they couldn't use the scene and they paid her like a bunch of money for a day to be there and they just couldn't use any of it. It was, was that bad. Just, what did she do? Yeah, she just wouldn't like she had to. Like pretend to fall down the stairs and then like oh she, and she's gonna look all messed up after she fell. she's like no I have to have my hair perfect like no no the movie is like you're Mariah Carey and you look all fucked up because you fell down the stairs and she wouldn't let him do that to her like she couldn't not look beautiful up. all the time was that in her contract or just, yeah 
Did yeah, anybody tell her how how great, she, beautiful she looked in that movie, Precious? What's <laughs> Show Mariah Carey in Precious, is she bro. Really, oh, is she like, I didn't watch Precious. It's a good movie, Just bro. Just look up Mariah Carey in Precious. That's it. But, so, heard, but yeah, she was movie, like bro. rough, right? <laughs> bro, she looked like. She looked like T.I.'s uh, lady. She looked like, what? Uh, uh, I don't want to say this. Get canceled for the comment I'm about to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She, you know what? She looked like Tia's wife. That's, I mean, like what, she got. What, bangs, was she gonna know? look worse than that on the scene? They wanted her to look like all beat up, like she fell down the stairs, and she just wouldn't let them do that. This oh, is like wow. she's acting. This maybe because it's a comedy movie, she didn't want people laughing at her oh, with how bad she's gonna I look. It. She's trying. But to when it. you like unpretty yourself <clears throat> like that, like you going for an award? Yeah. <laughs> like, can you believe? Put that Oscar around my neck. Someone could look average. Like, yeah. <laughs> Give her the trophy. She looks like one of us. Because I, I heard How supposedly. Tall is she? Sorry. I didn't. No. Mean, I wasn't there that day. Oh. Yeah, I missed the whole day. Because supposedly little, people bro. like Vin Diesel on The Rock, they, 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 they uh, when they do a movie, they cannot get punched. Like, you know, or they can't really? look bloody or beat up. Like, that's because they're supposed to look tough the whole time. They that's, can't lose a fight. Like, they, they actually won't lose a fight. Damn. It's like movies. wrestling for real with those little <laughs> yeah. huh? Chuck Norris shit. Because I was going to tell you that That's uh, for reals, dude. <laughs> a little Glenn Danzig fact that I heard back in the day when we went to the show <laughs> right, was because right. uh, he's little, right? Yeah, but yeah. he's all no f no photography from the back end because it will show his bald spot. Oh, really? Yeah, and that was, that was in the 90s, bro. Isn't it funny that his name's still Glenn? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like, you know, Danzig, but everybody's like, hey, Glenn. Hey, what do you want to get for lunch, Glenn? That's not Some a pun name, dude. No. <laughs> <laughs> but he's still, I'm going to change my name. What's it going to be? Well, like, still Glenn. But also then Danzig, <laughs> like all right, tight. <laughs> had your mother. Yeah. Steven Seagal has no, no, all his films, no side uh, photos of him, huh? No profiles. Because the side shows his big old gut, and from the front, he still looks like Steven Seagal. Because I heard all that shit happened after, <laughs> after uh, uh, under siege, right? And then he didn't have any photos from the top two because he was going bald back in the day. Well, he has those plugs now, right? Well, I mean, hardcore every, plugs. Yeah, everybody looks like can carpet, go dog. Get, You can get like good ones now. Yeah, you like you can go to some Bulgaria. fools look good. <laughs> Turkey, Turkey is the best. Yeah. Cause isn't it? It's like BBLs now. Going to Turkey to yeah. get your hair done. Well, it's I like and dudes are so up about like we're all like we'll all sit there and appreciate women whatever they do their body make yourself happy. But then dudes like be all nervous about like I didn't have no no I didn't do nothing like that no. Like, look at bro before <laughs> that's good. Yeah. yeah yeah look dude. He went look, looking from uh oh, from shit. he look, he went from looking from, look he went from looking from uh. <laughs> From a comedy agent to an action star. Because yeah, that's probably what he looked like. He looked like he bro. works for ICM right yeah, there, bro. He looks like an anime, he looks like an anime vampire. <laughs> now he looks like Willie Barsena right there, bro. Because he's the same weight when he blew up, dude. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, God damn. He looks, yeah, dude. Yeah, that, he's not, totally younger, dude. He looks like Michael Bolton, bro. Like, like, yeah, because remember when you're on, you should uh, comb your hair back and be like him? Because he had a sheriff show. He looked like and he that, had it. Oh, <laughs> remember yeah. he came out in that, in that uh, movie with, uh, he played Puñetas. He was in Machete, right? Machete. Yeah, bro. He was in that? Yeah. yeah. That was weird. That was crazy, bro. El Machete, right? He was a, he was a bad guy from, yeah. Um, yeah. He would call Puñeta. Oh my god! He oh, has a long. He... He's just gonna cover up his gut with a long T-shirt, huh? Like that. Yes. In the <laughs> yeah, those are like those little judo outfits, those right? Are, those are the suits you put on when they demonstrate attack dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not conventional clothing. Those, dude. those hide all the curves. Yeah, <laughs> and you know it's true because all his moves are like from attack dog moves. Yeah, yeah. He just he knows how to put his arm out. <laughs> Fucking Steven Seagal, man. He, I heard that he was like he really is the king. Of the karate demo tape, he's good, dude. Yeah. Because OG. his old he his his whole career was only demo tapes. He never really he went to Japan to study A and he time, fought. Yeah. But he he was the first guy like if, to to blow up like a social media guy like blogging. Because because really? if if Steven Seagal was was around now. His career would have went would have would have went the same way, you know, because everything he did was oh nobody had a camcorder, I got one. Nobody got DV, um, VHSs, I got them. He was logging, so he yeah. was logging up his all his thing, and he made uh, a badass demo tape. And then somebody saw it and he goes, you know, I gotta put this guy in the movie. He's man. He's in a keto chat. Yeah, 
Aikido's is uh, discipline. In it's hard arts. to believe he was actually good at any of those things. Because there's new videos that are like I think in the last five years where they walk up to him, he just moves his arm up and they fall. It's sure, because like, they're supposed to do it. They, isn't they, that they, like the Russian demonstrations? Or totally. Yeah. Like, isn't he? He's like royalty in Russia. Like oh, they've dude, welcomed forever, him. Dude. And they'll kind of like light him up and like fluff his ego. And so he's like, oh, yeah, Russia's. Are those real moves, though? I think they were real back in the day when he was young, but I don't think he like. Demonstrations. Do you, do you, if Joe risk. Rogan would have. Uh, uh, <laughs> He'd probably beat him up, bro. If, he if Joe Rogan would have went straight at uh, Steven Seagal, you think he could just do a little move and just toss him around? But what year yeah. on each. I was going to say, could, do you think. This you could year. Take, can you, I think I could take Steven Seagal this year. <laughs> Which unless man? He pulls out a little, there it is. Look, unless he pulls out a little gun. Look. Those are the yeah. old school ones. But though, that was in shape, bro. Yeah, and that's a keto shit right there. Because he's, he's beating, beating up Rizzo, little bro. Yeah, that's, me, bro. <laughs> that's Willie and Rizzo and Sacramento. <laughs> yeah, nah, that's <laughs> Willie and Nigera, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm mad that Steven Seagal stole and not any of the Expendable movies. Bro. What the fuck, bro? I'm furious, dude. How, uh, yeah, how bad was he to work with that he couldn't get in the Expendables? Yeah. <laughs> I don't they have know, a good Mel Gibson who said the N were like crazy, bro. Rob Probably Schneider on um, on Howard Stern said that he was wearing a kimono the whole time with no no underwear under. <laughs> and, he's, and he called him up, come in, come in, come into my dressing room. And oh, he sat no. down with his kimono. He said he barely saw his nutsack. Uh. And he said, I just read the best script ever written. <laughs> and then Rob said, who wrote it? Mm -hmm. I did. Because <laughs> they were trying to meet to him with that little move, too, supposedly. Yeah, look at that. Look at that suit, dude. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he's about to perform with the, with, the, with the kings of comedy, who, bro. This, uh, who wants to admit that Steven Seagal, that they were like, he's waiting outside right now, gonna beat her ass. Bro, take that in 1991. He was a man, bro. He lives in the warehouse next door, <laughs> doesn't he? He lives next door. <laughs> for me, Steven Seagal is in my head as Mark for death. Yeah, it's a badass movie, But you movie, know what? Now when I watch the videos, he runs, bro. With, 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 he doesn't even close his hands when he runs. Like, you oh, know, you run like this. He runs speed. like this. Show Steven Seagal running, bro, in the 90s. Aerodynamic, homie. <laughs> he was running yeah, like this, bro. Them and they're like this. He runs <laughs> like he's drying his hands. <laughs> the warehouse was wet, Felipe. I I can't believe I'm legitimately scared that I've talked too much shit about Steven Seagal. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, he doesn't run good. He's oh, a my guy. God. He runs like yeah. Patrick Swayze. Hey, leave Swayze alone, bro. Swayze's guy. Oh, look, look, he didn't even close his hand when he runs. Who can close their hands when they're going to apprehend the suspect? Yeah, he's got to be ready to grapple. He's I bet you be when ready. the mob was chasing him, he closed those hands, eh? <laughs> hey, what about that movie where he beats up all those cholos like in like somewhere in like Van Nuys, bro? Remember? What movie was this? I forgot, but you can find him. The YouTube. last cholo. He fucks, up. <laughs> <laughs> he fucks him up real bad, I didn't see dude. that movie. I don't yeah. think I've ever seen a Steven Seagal movie all the way through. I think if I, if I was going to pick an action movie out of that era, there was just so many better ones than... Rambo. Like, like, yeah, I'm not going to give Steven Seagal two hours of my time. Here I am talking shit about him. <laughs> you know what, bro? He's a special guest, isn't he? <laughs> He's going to walk in right now. Well, Kyle, so Kyle. I got a surprise for you, Kyle. Kyle can in. Kyle can in, right, man? Because today I had like a lot of choices to watch movies. I was free for seven hours, bro. Oh, yeah, dude. And I had to pick between Oppenheimer and that fucking um, the, the, the native one with the Caprio. Oh, the new one? What's it called? A miniature flower, corn? Uh, flower. Pocahontas. <laughs> a a flower corn. moon? What's you it called? A miniature corn? Yeah. A <laughs> <laughs> miniature corn. Miniature <laughs> corn. What's it called? Uh, the, I can't remember now that you said miniature corn. Another flower bro, moon is the last Three hours two. and 26 minutes, bro. I fucking went in a rabbit hole on, on things, the other things that I could do in three hours that I could learn. What kind of skills could I learn in three hours, bro? You know what, bro? Keto. I could fix a. a, a a leaky faucet and learn it in an hour and a half. Yeah. I could fucking um, <laughs> learn how to a fucking jet ski, bro, in three hours. I learned how to ski with a ski instructor with <laughs> two hours. Digitally, bro. Bro, Where's sitting through that whole movie is like sitting through a class I don't want to be in, bro. <laughs> yeah. I want to know what website you found that gave you the times for all these skills. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just said, uh, what, can that, I, uh, what can I learn in less than three <laughs> hours, eh? Instead of watching Oppenheimer, how about yeah. you learn? <laughs> what do you, this is what you really have to do. Oppenheimer, bro, is three hours, bro. That's and I was just hour. thinking, like, I was thinking about the first hour must be the most boringest hour ever. It's setting up, bro. It's just really? setting up, yeah. I can't. I can't, bro. I can't. That's my friend was making fun of it, too. He's like, they're like, come see it in, like, 
IMAX. And he's like, it's dudes talking. I don't need to see this <laughs> in uh, any def. In <laughs> 3D. <laughs> It's going to be on a tube television. There's going to be a whole lot of ladies passing out drinks. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to watch it. All right, I'll go find out. (laughs) But the one with the flowery moon, right? Yeah, the the flowery moon is the last little words of it. You saw all of them? Yeah, Yeah. I seen both of them. At the movie theater? Fuck that, dog. They got to cut it up and make it into a series, bro, for me to watch it. (laughs) I have to say I enjoyed Oppenheimer way better. Really? How about you, bro? The killer of the flower moon, right? I knew the, I, was, I knew yeah. I was gonna watch Oppenheimer because for the first three months I was saying Oppenheimer. <laughs> so, oh, oh, open Oppenheimer. I was saying <laughs> open. Oppenheimer. I was the open, door. Oppenheimer. Oh, you have to check Oppenheimer. Open your Heimer, baby. <laughs> for, uh, uh, shout out to uh, oh man, did you see the, the um, Jewish people they found living under the Brooklyn they, underground? Uh, yeah, they were digging that tunnel. Okay. The conspiracy oh, theories yeah. is going crazy already. At what oh, they were doing a, on there, it was wild. Bro. But what they really do, well, well, the real story is that there's the, there, there's um, Hasidic Jews, but they broke off into to a sex, two sex. A different. Mm-hmm. One of one of them believes that the 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 is the coming of the you know the you know when the when they the, when they're saying that the the the. The Messiah? the Messiah, the Messiah is yeah, coming. Yeah. The the one side believes that the Messiah is already here, or, and one side is no. So this side, this sect of the Hasidic Jews were kicked out of that church. So and they were all young. They're like the young, the very um, outspoken young Hasidic Jews. So these guys broke off. So then they made a tunnel to sneak into that synagogue and steal all their supplies every day. Oh, so every shit. day they would go in there and take like a gallon of milk. They do the tunnel? Yeah, they do a tunnel. They were, pay, they were paying migrants. Yeah, day, so they were fucking, <laughs> they, did, they dug it out and uh, a New York construction guy came in and he fucking figured it all out. But show that funny video of film how they, they arrested everybody and they made like the good fellas theme song. Oh, it's hilarious. He goes, it was over. <laughs> slow motion, everybody getting busted. Yeah, it the was nicknames. over. <laughs> they caught slow mo. They caught Danny with his Dorado. It was kaputs for everybody. Did you find it? No, I'm right now. All right. Yeah, but anyways, so That's conspiracy crazy, theories, though, are going insane, bro. I mean, that they had a sexual thing right there. They had a the, part of the. the they had a secret. Magic. They had a secret Epstein Island so in like there. If you take like group, like take groups of people and then things, and just started matching them, like uh, Jews tunnels. All right, go All off, the everybody. Yeah, go off. Bro. You can just yeah, pick yeah. whatever. They, said, they had. They said that um, it was built by Vietnamese, bro. They oh, made the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Yeah. Scientologist <laughs> drones. They, just put them together. Actually, they made a tunnel here in um. In um, also in Monterey Park, bro, and that tunnel goes all the way to Ojos Locos. So if we oh, know what you want, that's so that's so nobody you. sees you going. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, what up? Like, uh, did you that, find it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my stories on Instagram. Oh, my stories, okay. In in Korea, they think they got like they're called love motels. I go do comedy over in South Korea, and they're like, "All right, Take we got you a hotel. It's kind of weird. It's where dudes just go to cheat on their wives, but then the like the parking garages all have the." Car wash flaps over them so you can't see whose car is inside of it. Oh, nice. yeah. shit. They're like, all right, pretty sneaky. <laughs> so you've been to South Korea a lot? Uh, three or four times, I think. To yeah. do a club or a gig? Yeah, they had all like a bunch of people that wanted to teach English went, went over there. And they had so many people. Like how you got Chinatown and cities here. They got America Town over there. And they, started, nice. they started a little comedy scene, and I'd go do comedy over there. In English? Yeah. Oh, that's that's awesome. Cool, dude. Yeah, that's... It, was, it was a lot of fun, man. I that's think you know, one of the comics, went, I don't know if you went to South Korea, but we went to a place like that in China. I did China too, yeah. I forgot the name of the comedian. <sighs> a friend of ours went over there to Korea, but it was through the USO tour. <clears throat> okay, no, military. yeah, they're the military. This is just you got the, it? Yeah. All right, let's see. Play it. <laughs> Hilarious, dude. Sideburns got pinched and he spilled the beans on Mickey Minora. Pretty soon the feds pinched everybody. (laughs) Tony Tora, Polly Passover, Donnie Dreidel. It was all fucked up. (laughs) Even Manny Manischewitz sang like a cantor on Passover. His wife was so pissed when he got pinched her fucking wig flew off. She had all 17 of his kids line up outside the courtroom hooting and hollering making a scene. But it didn't do no good. We had it all and now we got bupkis. That's a good voiceover. That's a good. 
Because yeah. the older fool snitched on him too, but also supposedly a lot of residents were hearing noises. They were calling the city and they're all, nah, there's nothing under there. And then also a couple of times where fools popped out of those little crates in the uh, on the sidewalk. They're, they're underground like... <laughs> it was wild, dude. It was a, a Hasidic Jew just popped yeah. up out of the there's ground. There's a video of that too, but that was the day <laughs> of the bust. nobody's going to believe that you saw that. And that yeah. was the day of the bust. Fuck. <laughs> Uh, and then I just on I that saw. one video where they show all the uh, all the because uh, they uh, they handcuffed him and they handcuffed him on the bottom. That was a different date than the initial I, bust. I still think of how funny that is. If you see a head pop out of the sewer, <laughs> yeah. you get like, guys, I saw something coming out of the sewer because it, it looked like a Jew. <laughs> like, all right, you fucking <laughs> racist. Come, yeah, you come down, bro. Right? <laughs> there was no bus. There was no bus. Little protesters. Uh, okay, so that video with the cop when he's talking to him down there, that wasn't no bus. That was no nothing. Okay. But what were they? It, ste- was just, it was just one tunnel. It wasn't multiple tunnels. It wasn't anything that everybody's saying it is. It was just one that connected under underground, yeah, right? Trying to get access to the synagogue they used to have access to. Because originally it was supposedly that they were doing that during the uh, the COVID, right? Yeah. To get there because there were restrictions of their worship. But they weren't allowing them. They didn't want them in there. So they weren't living uh, down there. It, so- it sounds like the fucking demolition mound. But people that live down there, <laughs> remember? <laughs> It's like old New York, doggy. Yeah, you can't go and just digging under buildings. Like <laughs> Look at that. Oh, there you yeah. go. Yeah, I got the. Still, they still got that like the hat on and everything though. That's, <laughs> yeah. I think that's I think that's pretty crisp. Yeah. Like that, you got like you're still like you're like I think if I'm getting ready to crawl through a tunnel, I'm like stripping down to clothes. I don't <laughs> mind getting dirty. And yeah. They're still, they're still with the outfit with the hat staying on, looking. Looking clean, <laughs> like kudos to that. Yeah, right. It looks so nice. Yeah. I wonder how many other tunnels we have here in Los Angeles that nobody knows. Supposedly Los Angeles has a b- grip of tunnels. Really? That's I cool. thought in like the Hollywood Hills, there's like the stories about like all the rich people had their little ways out and everything. Supposedly Mex- uh, TJ has like the underground uh, Chinese tunnel tunnels. Like you know where like uh people uh, when people used to escape uh United States and go to TJ. Yeah, yeah. Well, and in downtown LA, there's a, there's um one of the bars. I think one it's uh it's on Main Street. King Eddie's. King. King Eddie's. King Eddie's. Oh no, I've been down in those tunnels. Yeah, yeah. King you Eddie's. Just walk into them. King Eddie's. There's a back side door, and that door, the guy said that the LAPD used to take beer from there to the Biltmore Hotel during Prohibition. There's you the, went down there. The tunnels that are down there. I mean, they're they're big. They're fully constructed, but it's also they connect the courthouse and everything and. It's just online. It's like open, like it's part of a parking garage, like the like a government building parking garage, and you just start walking, and all of a sudden you're in these underground tunnels. And we, one guy was like, "I'm the little cart down there." He's like, "Yeah, this is where they would take OJ through here during, yes. during the trials. What? They would avoid media." <clears throat> and it, I wonder if you could still do that. It, it seemed pretty insecure when I got to like, so you could just walk in here, and the guys like, "Yep." I'm like, "How yeah. is that okay?" Mind yeah. your business. Yeah, like, I, I think the TSA is a fluke, but yeah, I think you need somebody down mm-hmm. here. Yeah, get a, get a French <laughs> dip, get, a, get a French dip at Coles, and then yeah, like, no, go yeah. down there, and I'm then like, go infiltrate the courthouse. <laughs> yeah. I know LAX has millions of tunnels, you but know, airports have to. Yeah, I know because I remember uh, when <clears throat> before, like part of the airport was open to other people. Like I would, I would, I would there, was a, there was a McDonald's in Southwest, so I would tell that guy, "Is there a McDonald's? Yeah, mm-hmm. but you got to walk to the next gate." Do I have to go back outside? No, just walk downstairs. I remember walking downstairs, mm-hmm. and I walked for a, I felt like almost a mile, bro. Yeah, Damn. because it's it. all the tarmac. Oh, yeah, so yeah. they got to get through it. You want there's like again more small time hustles in Vegas. They have like the cafeterias that feed. I mean, you played Vegas, right? And they got the cafeterias that feed the people working at the hotel. And a lot of times they're just in the building somewhere. And if you can find it, you can just roll in and have food. Like I bet I did one casino. Where they weren't checking, and then my buddy Nate Craig was playing another casino, and he's like, "All these casinos have cafeterias," and we were like Caesars, and he was just like trying doors in the hallway. And he, we opened one, and we just went and got like a dessert. Like we're like, "I'm not really hungry, but we made it in here. Let's get a dessert from the employee cafeteria." And it's weird because you see like all the people in their outfits, like the impersonators, and, and, and having a sad it. lunch. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> the tiger. How you doing, Elvis? Yeah, Not yeah, too yeah. good, man. I think I'm gonna <laughs> die tomorrow. Share impersonators, just having some soup. Doesn't want to mess up her makeup, you know. What was that casino we ate at where all the food was under five bucks? 
But they, we have vouchers though, <laughs> right? Probably a they lot gave of us a card. <laughs> well, they gave us a card. Yeah, where we they had the bars like at a subway station. You put the card card in, and then you're like able to walk through and go to the. Uh, but we were in a cafeteria. Yeah, we all sat down. It was an employee cafeteria. Now. I want to say what Connecticut. Mm-hmm. We're there yeah. with Toby all late at night, and it's like everybody's there. Yeah, because they're stuck living. It's like a cruise ship. Totally. We're, we're just totally waiting enough. for the pizza to come out. <laughs> just give us a time, man. Give me an ETA. <laughs> I love a buffet. I heard, that's, I heard somebody knock buffets like just on the radio or something. Dude, I got, I got bent buffet. out of shape. I was like, hold on, man. <laughs> <laughs> a bomb buffet. Is the you don't shit, like bro. variety. I heard bent out of shape. You don't like having options. What's wrong it's, with you? You don't cruise ships. I did only two. One was like a comedy, like like a comedy podcast group that was on there. Which one? Uh, it was, God, it was like Maximum Fun, and it was like more of like NPR. So they were just like a little group that was on the cruise ship, and then I did this heavy metal cruise. Oh shit! A couple of years ago, that was like, it was like all heavy. Like it didn't stop, and I'm already too, too much metal. <laughs> like I like I like I metal down, to death, dude. I, I like like there's different types of metal, and like this was not this was like divorced, like this was like divorced CrossFit. Police heavy metal. Oh my you know? god, the worst heavy metal on the planet. Yeah, it was like real Jeez. like a jock rock, bro. <laughs> like jock rock. Yeah, it was, it was like oh oh god, man, we're playing Mud Vein at nine a.m. over the speakers. Oh. Jesus, <laughs> Christ, somebody put a bullet in my I can't dog, do with this a hangover. Too. Fuck, dude. Yeah, there's a lot of black nail polish type metal. Which I mean, if that's people's thing, cool. It wasn't yeah. necessarily my type of metal inside so just kind of made fun of everybody on there that shit makes you want to jump off the ship huh yeah it's oh, like a lot dude. of we the people tattoos on the forearm I'm like i bet <laughs> you don't know how that rest of that <laughs> sentence goes <laughs> next time we're gonna meet up at the Capitol on january 6th finish yeah finish that <laughs> quote dude yeah uh, dude you see that tattoo bro it's uh yeah we the people what we the vein. people what <laughs> get together and take uh, over this tyranny uh, had about enough <laughs> we're doing one this weekend Hell yeah, the ship face. The, the Impractical Jokers. Oh, you're doing the Jokers cruise? The, yeah, we're going to do the What's Up Food podcast there. That one looks fun. And then I'm going to do a show with um, Eric Andre. Three hour. I'm, I'm the co host of the Eric Andre yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I just sit there with no t shirt and a Speedo. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> Sal Volcano, Volcano, James Murray, Brian Quinn. We got Steve O. Eric Andre. Steve O. Oh, Tom Bell. Steve O. Who? Tom Bell. Joy Potato. Tom's gonna be great. There. Joy Fatone, really? Just being around, being Joy Fatone. Oh, you got a good crew. You got yeah, Adam, Adam Ray, 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 Nick Ray. Rutherford, Amazing. David oh. Bory. David's awesome. DJ Doug Pound. I thought that said Animal Wrestling. Awful Wrestling. Oh, I thought that said Animal Wrestling. I got Adam Green, the Flying Wasp. Joy Fatone's gonna kill it on karaoke. Karaoke for kill the sure, cat. That's gonna dude. be fun. There's gonna be a '90s party, guys. I don't know if you know that. So I get live, ready to dress up in the party. '90s. Oh, and, they're gonna, dress up? and they're gonna have a no clothes con- uh, party. No, no, anything but clothes. Anything but clothes. So you gotta make your part, your your um, outfits out of, out of towels or um, beer boxes, whatever you have, or <laughs> Some, you can make it here at home and then take it over there. <laughs> that was that was part of the heavy metal crew. It was always somebody like. Was people, there a party like that? No, but it was like the people that were trying the sexy outfits. And then you felt bad if they weren't getting the attention for being oh, in the yeah. sexy that's outfit. Oh, yeah, that's me all week. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, don't look at me, but look at me, you know? <laughs> like, don't be rude, but yeah, get a, you know, get an eyeful. Take a slice. <laughs> you got a little cruise ship, a lot of cruise ship bodies yeah, on there. Huh? Yeah, I'm not wearing an entire mesh outfit with just pasties for you to not look at me. Come on, man. Get a, get a piece of it. <laughs> Give me a little wink. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's either look at me or a bunch of burnt and sunburnt heavy metal dudes. <laughs> Just sunburnt incubus fans. <laughs> Talking in, and I, we did. Um, this is not happening, man. With Ari oh, yeah. Shafir, mm-hmm. Joy Diaz, At I, we might be in the yeah. same episode. Are there even episodes anymore? Just there were just there were clips on on YouTube. Yeah, those were fun. They're like, tell us like a crazy story. I'm like, that's what stand up is. That's all my stuff. <laughs> like, I give you what I'm just not using right now, but that's my whole act is stories. I don't know what you want from me. Which which story did you tell? I talked about uh, um, when I was on PCP and I bit some guy's ear off. God, and then a, and then you, you did story. one about um, <laughs> <laughs> you did one about you were doing your rounds of friends and you were going to a, you were you, you were beer hopping, and you hooked up with somebody at the end of the night. Some crazy shit happened. Oh yeah, I had some bad some weird sex. <laughs> I didn't want to have sex, but she was drunk, and then she wanted to have sex, and I'm like, well, she's gonna drive if I don't have sex with her, so. You're going to be stranded. So we had sex. 
and then she like afterwards started playing like religious music on the radio. Damn. And, then, After yeah. you guys... and then started yelling how like the white man stole her land, which I'm not arguing the facts of what she was saying. <laughs> I just thought the timing was kind of wild. <laughs> you were actually reverse protesting that. Yeah. Me? <laughs> like I'm trying to help you, man. <laughs> That's yeah, so she started so, playing yeah. the the she started playing the religious music after you guys hooked up. It hit. Well, I was at a bar with like a, as a friends like uh, like he was like quitting his job or something, and it was like a real super drunk night. And then we just went like we were in the car and like making out, and then we started like she started to drive. She's real too drunk to drive. I'm like, hey, let's not let's not like let's pull over and stuff. And it's like we're in the car getting all hot and heavy. I'm like, oh, I don't. I was still trying to be like, I don't know if this hot is like a heavy. thing. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah I like to keep the terms nice, you know. Yeah. I'm not trying to be rude, but I'm like, oh, I don't know if this is something that like we should be doing. And then it just like became the thing. So I, I guess if anything, I was probably the victim there. I was like, I don't yeah. want to, but I, I've, I've been all before. right. We'll do it. Yeah, we're little guys, you know. We can take advantage of. Yeah, but then, <laughs> but then it was like we're still drunk and I didn't want to drive, so I was trying to talk to her. I was like, oh man, you gotta. It was like a, it was like a, some sort of like, like John Cougar Mellencamp tapers. I'm like, oh, oh John Cougar God. Mellencamp. He's not bad. She's like, it's not John Cougar Mellencamp. I taped over it and she put it in. It was like religious, like Christian religious music. I was like, oh boy. Got Start it. the tambourine. Huh? Yeah, Damn, she was singing dude. with that. And then she's like, <laughs> I'm like, I, I don't know what ethnicity she was but whichever one it was she was a, she, ta she was a taino indian eh? she yeah she was mad that the white <laughs> yeah. man stole her land yeah. and i was like ah oh, be that as it may I think many, oh, man. Yeah, many blue moons ago but yeah i'm still i don't think you should drive man, you, you <laughs> i'm ever, trying to oppress you i just that think is crazy you man crash. <laughs> you have more of those where like it turned out to be like because we we're talking to him yesterday last week about have you ever met somebody and got to know them Right and away. then you said, "Wow, I, I'm glad we didn't have sex." Or like I got abort because I would got stuck here. I mean, as far like in a relationship, or just like yeah. you meet somebody like, like 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 you met that woman, but you ended up making out with her, but you regret it later on. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, most of the sex I've had has been regrettable. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, I like I don't have like a lot of confidence with ladies, so if I get to the point where I'm feeling confidence, probably because I'm pretty drunk. So the confidence meters at all time high, but everything else is tapped. Like nothing else is gonna function in the way it should, which is I guess kind of kept me safe in a lot of times. Like, yeah, you're super hot. Let's go back to my place. Uh, whoopsie. <laughs> we wanna, <laughs> you even wanna play? You wanna talk? <laughs> play some cards? I don't know. But I like I have like I I never got a lot of crazy relationship. Like it's been one night stands. We're like, well, we did. We sure aren't gonna tell people about that, are we? <laughs> Both parties. Huh? Yeah, no, nobody's leaving here happy about it. So all right, I'll no, see you later. No one's rock, dude. No one's bragging. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's but funny. I don't know. I I try to be respectful. Have you yeah. ever uh, had sex with somebody and you knew right away that she got pregnant? That no. you're not gonna uh, ever see them ever again. Like you knew. Yeah. And she knew she didn't want to see your ass ever Even again. Even though we live like Even the though same you city, knew, yeah. but you don't want to. You don't want extra with mm -hmm. her. Yeah. And how was it how, to say goodbye? Was it uncomfortable? Do you guys fist bump? There's some, I think there's like an adult understanding of like, it's we, mutual. We, we hooked up. We're adults. <laughs> we're adults. Yeah. Okay. We it was fun. Up. <laughs> we hooked up. Yeah, sign, <laughs> sign this disclaimer <laughs> Take real quick. Take it easy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Peace out. Yeah. You, Brazil. I remember, so that one time, uh, like, this is like fucking, oh, this must be like in 2011 when we did a show in San Diego. And I hooked up with an older lady, right? It was with George per George Perez. He was in the living mm -hmm. room with somebody else. I was in the main. I was in the main room, you know. Yeah. And then I remember, like, I just remember waking up. She was like cussing in the morning. Fuck, fuck, because she was late to work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and she still had to take me to the fucking to the hotel, you know. Like fuck, fuck. This was before like really Uber was like you know around. And she was mad, bro. I felt bad for her, dude. Oh, dude. She's mad because she had to give you a ride. Yeah, she was late to work. Like, she was like, yeah. I hung out with this girl, bro, from 2 in the morning to 2 in the afternoon, bro. What the fuck? And we didn't have no sex. Is that the PCP but I, again? No, bro. I didn't, she was crazier. She was on pills, but I didn't know that. Birth control pills? Bro, she was yapping all night, all night. She was, and um, I, I gave her a nickname because she was Cuban. So I was calling her, ahora si. <laughs> every time she opened her mouth, I'd be like, ahora si. And um, 
We didn't hook hook up, but she was because I'm gonna just hang out with you all night. Mm-hmm. And and right away in my mind, I think, all right, fuck. I never met someone. I never hooked up this fast. <laughs> yeah, you know record, where we're just bro. gonna have sex and it's gonna be all night. She's probably we're probably gonna have lunch the next day. <laughs> I, I, I already like her. Not I might take her to my next show. <laughs> you know, but nah, man. She talked her way. She talked. She kept talking, and we ended up going somewhere. And she did a big old meth line, dude. Whoa! And <laughs> the people that we were we were in some house with Josh. Some guy named Josh, and there was a bunch. Of, oh, we ran into some hipsters from New Jersey, and it was a big crowd now of fifteen people in my friend's house. It sounds like you're making up this story. Yeah, and as you go, the along. girl, <laughs> one of the girl from the, the chubby cheeks, we went to her car, and she had a flat, and I fucking fixed it, bro. She God gave me damn, a hun- dude! She gave me a hundred dollars. It's a lifesaver, yeah. right there, dude. So I, I'm and thinking, Steven Seagal was I'm there? finally. I'm finally, you know, I get all I see in my little studio, bro. She gets my, she gets on my phone, and she talks and argues with somebody on the phone for three hours straight. And she said she needs her pills. You know, I can't function without my pills. My pills, you know, you're gonna go pick it up. Then like I'm, the, the, I'm like my pillow, leave, bitch, leave. <laughs> What kind of pills? Like I don't know. She was like a like uh, gas she took, pills. She took or? a lot of pills. This lady oh. exists, dude. I went over there to his pad on Demby, and she was there. She's all, "I need an ashtray." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "I gotta get out of here, dude." She told me, "Oh, that's what it, that's what thing went down." She told me that <laughs> talking on the, was, phone the whole time. She was dude. pregnant. <laughs> wow. And she and her her hand beat her ass, and she lost the baby like two God. weeks ago. Yeah, it was that's a. So it, 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 there was a. There was a lot. A lot. A lot to unpack uh, uh, with that woman. That was like Tweaker Wizard of Oz when she wakes up. <laughs> and then we went, and yes. there was hipsters from New Jersey, <laughs> and then there was a fat girl with a flat tire, <laughs> and you were there. <laughs> that's when Josh was drawing that big old thing on his ceiling, huh? Dude, I was sober. <laughs> really? It's the beginning of that. How did you last that long being so horny? I guess. Yeah, you're horny. You just wait for hours, bro. Like uh, that's gonna happen, bro. I let the sleep take over. Uh, <laughs> How about being so horny and then nothing happens? That's what happened. I right? can't believe now. I would have probably fell asleep, bro, already. <laughs> yeah. But back then I was just adrenaline. You had to go set. Uh, set. Yeah. <laughs> <Side loop. laughs> now where's she? Where's she now? So we're on the phone talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's not. <laughs> So I don't know, man. Leaving mess Last time I heard of her, she hooked up with like a, a really like a lesbian lady, and then she was driving her crazy. Yeah. So she switched to the yeah. other side. <laughs> she, she burnt out all the dudes. <laughs> but that was crazy. Yeah, man. I lost my baby two weeks ago. My, my, oh, was, my God. How? Oh, oh, my my man beat my ass. Oh, wow. That's nuts. That's crazy. And you were still horny after you heard that. Uh, we'll make you another you're still one. Like, hey, well, okay. Yeah. Look, the first thing that came to my head, we'll make a bad I was like, one, I don't yeah. want to ask, but um, I was gonna ask, but uh, everything else is all right, right? <laughs> <laughs> Holy the, shit! The car how them on, ovaries? The car back on the track? What's going on? <laughs> we still in the shop, or how we feeling? <laughs> she still has scars. She showed me right here. Look. <laughs> oh no! I don't know if I've ever been that horny. I, I've been horny. You, you I been have, horny? but like, fuck, <laughs> 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 dude. <laughs> Eleven hours, bro. That's a yeah, that, dude. That's a long time for her. yeah. Damn, dude. Yeah. I was kidnapped. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were. <laughs> What's up, fool? What's up, dog? What's up? <laughs> What's up, fool? What's up, fool? What up? You got shows coming up. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. When's this come out? When we're we doing this? Oh, it comes Tomorrow. out this Friday, right? Lisa? This Friday. Tomorrow. 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 Shit, yeah, I'll be Manana, in Manana, dude. Rochester, New York. I'll be in restaurant. Omaha, Nebraska. What are you doing in Rochester, uh, Carlson? Yeah, yeah. Have you been there? Yeah, yeah, days ago, man. What's really? that name? How Mike. Is it? is it good? Good, dude. All the shows are good. Yeah. But we had to take off the day of because that's where we're going to snow in, dude. And we were there the night of and it was just fucking piling all that like powdery white stuff. Mike, got, he's real cool, right? Cool as fuck. Yeah. I flew here. I got here from Portland because I live in Portland. I got here Friday. And my flight was delayed because the first flight I was gonna be on was the plane that the like the type of plane where the door fell off. Oh, and they, fa- they found it like 
close by the house. Funny, I took I took that plane from fucking Portland, Ontario, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I was supposed to be on that kind of plane that canceled. And Saturday was a snowstorm up there. So, what's up, fool? Go I check out Cal Canine at the Comedy at the Rochester, New York, January twenty fifth to the twenty seventh, February twenty third, twenty fourth. He'll be at the Funny Bone Comedy Club in Omaha, Nebraska. March 1st through the 3rd, Helium Comedy Philadelphia. That's a badass club. March 4th through the 16th, Comedy Club of Kansas City with the homie. March 22nd, 24th, Jesus Christ. The Laugh Shop Comedy <laughs> Club in Calgary. <laughs> Fuck. You're going to be freezing, dog. You're going to have to take another beanie, dog. <laughs> This one keeps my dome pretty tight. I throw a hood up over it. I don't like the look. What's up, everybody? Download the DraftKings Sportsbook, Sportsbook app now and use code FOOL, F-O-O-L. New customers can bet just 5 bucks to get 200 instant in bonus bets only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code FOOL. The crown is yours. Gambling problem. Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www1800 gambler.net in new york call 8778 hope new york or text hope new york 467 369 in connecticut help is available for problem gambling call 8888789777 or visit ccpg.org please play responsibly on behalf of boot hill casino and resort in kansas 21 plus age varies by jurisdiction void in Ontario. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. See dkng.com slash football for eligibility and deposit restrictions, terms, and responsible gaming resources. Yeah, man. Oh, man. Show, show the, the, the bets for this week, fell up right there on the board. So if you guys want to get down this week, man, the favorite this week is Houston, Texas over the Ravens. Plus nine and a half, man. So, man, that, that, that's the spread right there. Go Packers. What's your team? Your team up there? My team was disqualified <laughs> two years ago. The Oak, the fucking Las Vegas Raiders. <laughs> <laughs> Detroit Lions and the Buccaneers. I ain't going to lie. I'm going for the Detroit Lions on that one. I like underdog. They're doing yeah, good, Kansas City Chiefs and Buffalo Bills. Oh, uh, man. Go Raiders. Buffalo Bills. Yeah, man. You gamble? No, I think I got the kind of personality where that wouldn't go well for me. But you drink. You don't have a problem drinking? I mean, I don't know. How, how much more podcasting you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> Half an hour. <laughs> so stupid. How, what kind of stuff you want to talk about, man? <laughs> you need more beers, bro. So you, did you start in Chicago doing stand-up? Yeah. Or New York? I, no, I started in Chicago. I started in Chicago in 99, and then I came out here in 2003. Yeah, and I was out here for like so I, I did it for here for seventeen years. I've been in Portland for three and a half years. Oh, you live in Portland? Yeah, yeah, I love Portland, man. Yeah, it's a good time. And I'm splitting. I'm here. I'm here and there. I gotta be back down here. To let people know I didn't die. You know. <laughs> I got you. You, you leave just as a stand up. You leave. People are like I guess he quit. Like no, I'm working, man. I'm still. <laughs> That's cool I'm not saying. hanging out at the club. I know. The people think yeah. that, huh? They don't know. Fool, you know with that whole thing about like, dude, yeah, we wiped him out of here. Now it's my turn. I get. I, mean, I don't know. Like, I, I still, I like being here. I like, I like knowing that every night of the week, my friends are out doing, doing shows somewhere. But what's really cool about being in Portland is there's a club there, and then my friends come and they do an actual hour, like the thing they're actually working on. Yes. And I get to see the actual product instead the of like people's piece. twelve minutes set where they're goofing off, and it's like it's inspiring to see like, oh, that's what the show really is. That's what they're working hard on. And that's cool. I saw like the Sklar brothers a couple weeks ago. They were like, oh, these guys are fun as hell. I forgot. I always said they were funny. I forgot how good of a time they were. So, yeah. That's what I'm doing up there. The club uh, out there is Helium? Helium, yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah. It's Super cool club. club. Ian yeah. Carmel, right? That's uh, Ian, that's Ian's home, home yeah. turf. All the all fans. Shane the Torres. Guys. Shane Torres. Yeah. I'm trying to think of who else came out of there. Yeah. But it's a good time. The blue-eyed Mexican. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude, that passed away, bro. Oh. Uh, from uh, Texas, Richard Bain. Richard, oh yeah. Richard Bain, he was from fucking uh, funny guy, super yeah. funny guy. Yeah. He featured for me when I when I did um the other club, Harvey's. Oh, you did and, Harvey's? Yeah, they're not around anymore. I never right? fucked around with Harvey's. No, the stories about they do some. There's some sort of like remote thing they do, but I just always heard like the, the manager ran it from like CCTV. He would like just sit at home and watch 
the security cameras and tell people how to run oh, the club. Oh, shit. Yeah, some real overlord type thing. I remember right? Richard Bay, he told me that um, he showcased for the owner of the comedy club um, mm-hmm. in, in, in his office, bro. He was behind his desk, and he had to do his set in front of the desk. That sounds kind of perverted <laughs> for some reason, dude. And and then, that's show yeah. business right there, right? Then, like yeah. when I, when I, Bro, I got kidnapped, right? When I was doing Portland, um, the Harvey's, I was doing. Oh God, I got there for the Thanksgiving, so I I got to do the Wednesday show, and mm-hmm. then I was there Friday, Saturday. His house is right next to the comedy condo. Richards? Yeah, no, the owner of the, the comedy oh, club. Oh shit! So he could see my light on, bro. Call me up, you're gonna turn the lights off, man. Oh my! Shut God. the fuck up! But, but he <laughs> can, he can if he wants, but he didn't. <laughs> but you know, you feel it though. You feel it all, better turn the lights off. off. He could do that. Yeah. Surprise visits. So. I felt like this, bro. A Thanksgiving, I told the story before. I had my whole day planned out, dude. I was just going to hang out in Portland all day, all yeah. day, till my feet got tired. Yeah. He got inv- he invited me for Thanksgiving dinner, dog. Oh, man. How do, you dude. Say, how do you say? He knows you don't have plans. Oh, Slice man. that turkey, Felipe. <laughs> I felt like when Jim got what, invited to. extra 75 bucks? <laughs> I should have. So I figured, man. The whole, uh, I met his mother. His mother was the coolest lady I ever met in my life. Mm-hmm. She could talk. She, she's the one that ran that club, bro. I heard she had badass stories. Bro, bro. she had badass stories, bro. There's a picture of her with Andrew the Giant picking her up. It's a you know? badass picture. Dude. There's a picture <laughs> of um of um Andrew the Giant having a drink at the bar and another picture of Roddy Piper chilling right there. Oh, really? When she was there, when it was Damn. just a regular club. That's cool. She's gangster. But um, I was uncomfortable the whole time I was there, yeah. man. So I find, you know, you ever been in a situation where you're hanging out with your friends? You know, he, he's not my friend, just the boss that week. Yeah. But then you learn something secret about your friend that you didn't know about it, it was because the mom brought it up. But you never knew that was a problem. But now in your head, you're figuring out why your uh, friend is actually crazy. You've seen the relationship. You've seen the relationship. And then, because she met, he she mentioned something to the older son who looked like a cop, bro, big dude. Mm-hmm. He goes, "Remember, Jim, you had that that squint that used to be so goofy and annoying." And then it got to him, bro, and he had not done the squint the whole time we were there. But now, what? <laughs> he thought he was hurt by it, bro. He, he brought the he, nervous. He could tell he was hurt he by out. it, bro, and it came out. The lisp came And I back. said, and then I, I saw the owner. That was his, uh, that was his, I guess that, that's his older brother. Yeah. So he was laughing, bro, and I felt uncomfortable that he was laughing. Fifty-eight year old man laughing <laughs> at another brother. Plus, it's a power struggle because like he's the boss, and now he just got undermined by his whole family yeah. in, front, in front of his like you're the employee. Like so, then I say, Shut yeah, up, man. Up. Um, is this true? <laughs> I was talking to a cop, and he told me that he had to choke his in front of you. <laughs> in, in front of the desk, and you were like sitting back like this and. Richard Bay had to perform. I didn't finish your name, but yeah. he had to do the stand-up comedy in front of you. Wow, wow, wow. You know, sometimes these comics, <laughs> they say they're, they're they're clean, they're clean, and you go up there and they're filthy. So why didn't see his old act? Wow. <laughs> like he's going to do the dirty But he stuff. broke yeah, out too, right. bro. He always made a squint. Nah. <laughs> Did you, what's, like... I would have collapsed. There was, a, there, was a, <laughs> there was a club over, it was in Milwaukee way back when, he was like, like a mob dude. And everybody was scared of him. The meatball boss. Like, yeah, we would basically see like the meatball boss. He's like, what are you, "You're not gonna get paid tonight." He was the first time he had like like the pearl the pearl colored Escalade with the spinny rims on it. Oh shit! Damn, Damn. The, the, like a pop. Two thousand three. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Like, Stop, cocksucker. Stu- super like, and everybody was scared of him. And I was doing a guest spot. And I was like so nervous. Like Pete Holmes was headline. He's like, "Hey, it's a fun club. Come on up. It'll be fun. Don't swear. Don't look at him. Don't bring up these topics." I'm like, "All right." So I did the guest spot. I get off stage. You stand there. I'm like, "So uh, how did I do?" He's like, "You swore three times." Oh my god! Talk to so and so. Get some get some dates. I'm like, "Ooh, cool." So I got to work there one weekend, and then. I went down to get paid and I got bumped. I went from like the MC <laughs> to like feature. Like he flipped me on the dude. He's like, I'm moving you guys, which was kind of an ego blast to the guy that was featured. Yeah. But I'm like, all right, maybe I'm going to make some more money. And so I went down to sign my paper. I go down, him and all the bouncers are listening to a voice, like uh, the answering machine. And it's just some guy going, 
hey, there's no reason that we should uh, get out of hand with this. We're all just businessmen. Like this really nervous guy what the that fuck? clearly was like, they were all going to kick his ass. And he's leaving this message like, we're just, we're, we're all adults here. There's no reason to get out of hand. And I don't see any reason to take any other action. Sound right like now. Gary Minky. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, everything's fine. And they're like, and they're all like, what should we do, boss? And I'm sitting there. Wait, is filling, it like, I'm just, like, hey, is a comedy I'm club? Yeah. Hey, I should go fuck him and up. I, and I'm filling out my paperwork and I'm trying to ask for more money too. So I'm like filling out like my W9. I'm like, hey, so what do I put down here for how much I made this week? He's like, give yourself an extra $100. I'm like, all right, thanks, man. I hope that guy doesn't die. There were so, stories about he'd pay people like a gun on the desk and stuff. So it was like a front this is Milwaukee? for something else? I mean, yeah. Well, because oh. comedy clubs, yeah. Or Sanford and Sons. No, <laughs> this, was, this was Milwaukee in like in like 99 or 2000. But there was like there, like comedy clubs for a long time. I mean, it's such an easy front for laundering money. Yeah, right. Yeah. Because like a business like, oh, yeah, no, we sold this many tickets. We sold this Comes many tickets. Comes in drinks. and out, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so. I heard of the Cleveland mm-hmm. Improv with Mob Bone back in the day. Really? I mean, a lot of them were. There was one dude. Those two guys look gangsters, man. Yeah, financial gangsters. The, the money, the account. It's weird. Gangsters. You see these managers, you know, and then like you see all these managers, and I always thought these managers were the owners. Then like, then you find out that he was just fired. But he'd been here thirty years. Yeah, he ain't the. Old. He was never the owner. Yeah, yeah, he was never the owner. He was telling you, like he was that the guy, owner. Ma- Mama Kiki from from the that from the Addison Improv. Yeah, we found- <laughs> Jeff. I oh, thought he was the. Yeah. I don't know if I should say. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Mama, Mama Kiki. Mama Kiki. Oh, what's man. it? Mama Kiki. Bruce you- Springsteen. Mama Kiki. Peaches. <laughs> hey, peaches. <Ooh. laughs> hey, show him harassing that chicken honey at the at the sticky buns. Oh, let me get some of those sticky buns. He he was the original Ojo Loco. Huh? <laughs> Hey, the sticky really? buns were the sticky oh, buns were good. I bro. can smell it. <laughs> they fired his ass, bro. I mean, the and the whole time I thought he was the owner. I did too. He was telling people he was the owner. That's what another guy that worked there told him. And us. he got fired for yelling at the owner's housekeeper. Yeah. Because he's all let what? me tell you the truth. He's not the owner, bro. <laughs> what did he's he get, gone. What did he get fired for? Oh man, there was, it was, there was like a party <laughs> and then he was being mean to this like Latina lady. And he was cussing her out. And then really? and, and then the the real owner saw, I guess. And um, they got mad at him. They told him to get out, and because that was their housekeeper. Whoa! Uh, they're rearing the kids and shit, huh? He seemed, Fuck out of here. He, yeah, he seemed like he was pretty tuned up all the time. I seen Bruce Springsteen. This guy seen Bruce Springsteen times. seventy-five times. Why so many times, bro? I don't know, bro. He's a boss, bro. Hey, dude. <laughs> he <laughs> looks like you get in trouble if you don't go see him. <laughs> <laughs> he <laughs> looks like <laughs> Paul cool. Simon, right? You lose vacation day. Oh yeah, we're Garfunkel, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he totally looks like that, dude. Yeah, yeah. A little hair down in the front to like you know cover up the whatever. Yeah, really. How about that lady that worked in the back? Oh yeah, I fuck Bukowski. Oh yeah, Seinfeld too. <laughs> Seinfeld wanted these titties <laughs> before you guys. Pollock gave me this this art. <laughs> You're like, did he? Mama uh, Kiki. There was, uh, <laughs> bro, like, she, been around, she, bro. She, her office was a little cubicle, but the stack of papers were this. They Huge. filled up this room right here, Fuck, dude, to the ceiling, dude. Yeah. She said, the, the, um, she's gone too, by the way, and now it's just one computer, bro. And that's it. Yeah, I can't remember who was there. I was there like a year ago, and it was all pretty like mellow. It's like I think comedy's popular enough that they can't get caught screwing around. No so way, the clubs man. Are all no pretty, way. Yeah, yeah. They had to get rid of the liabilities, bro. Before you yeah. could get those, those kind of pepper managers get away with a lot of stuff. What happened, man? They stole the safe. Even <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. even okay. even like like punk rock clubs or even like you know venues like they got rid of all that riffraff and shit. I mean, yeah, the punk rock stuff. I mean, you could take uh, you could take advantage of like I mean like either like the kids naivete or or just yeah the well we're like well we're all we're all looking out for each other because it's like a DIY scene and it only works if we're all looking out for each other. Right. So like really you are yeah yeah cool. you're like, looking out for yourself bro. But also when it's five dollars to get in every show and you see twenty kids you can do that math pretty quick. Oh fuck yeah bro. <laughs> you do a lot of the rooms that Doug Stanhope does at the I, bars. I would do some yeah a little, little bit of those. You worked with him before? I never worked with him. I know him like I've, I've chatted with him, but I've never worked with him really. Oh. So. But like I started doing the DIY because I came up like in the music scene, so like I I saw how bands toured and built up fan bases, and I'm like, well, that's what I'll do with comedy. I'm not gonna go to like this comedy club that costs too much. Like I know who's gonna come see me. They got 15 bucks right now, <laughs> and they're gonna drink in the parking lot. I'm like, all right, yeah. so I'll do those shows for now. Granted, that was you know 15 years ago. Now everybody like, all right, we all I I gotta make a living too, and I'm not trying to rip anybody right, off. Right, right. And it, so I and I like like the comedy clubs have stepped up their game. And also, people are older. They're like, I don't want to go and stand for two hours 
to watch comedy. I would like to sit. Yeah, that's I would like somebody to bring me some. I want somebody to bring me food. I don't want it to be in a weird part of town. Like I did enough of those shows. Legs are like twenties and thirties. Yeah, everybody's got the orthos in their vans now. (laughs) Fucking plantar fasciitis and shit. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, no, I want to sit down. I want to have food brought to me. I'm like, okay, and those I, I get it now. Those clubs are a little bit better. But I used to play all those spots. I'll still do them here and there. They're fun. Dirty after thirty. Dirty at the twelve thirty. What's up, fool man? What's up, everybody, man? Up, March fourth, special um, Cow Canadian special Dirt Night will be available on eight hundred pound gorilla website to download on commercial free and give to friends. Right? I'm doing yeah. I'm doing like ten bucks download it, and you'll get I don't know, like four or five codes to just give to other Share people. Them with so you're getting like four. Fuck yeah, dude! Four copies of it, four digital Hell copies. Yeah, yeah I just want at? people to see it. I was at Acme in Minneapolis. Oh, fuck yeah. I heard that's a great club. Yeah, it's a really great club. Do you know a comedian from Minneapolis named Chuck Bartell? I know that name, and I can't picture him. That's right a now. friend of ours. He always works with us. He's from that funny area. Funny as fuck. Funny yeah. guy, yeah. Minneapolis makes funny people. Bro, trust me. Nick Swartzen. Fucking funny. Swartzen, Chad yeah. Daniels, Maria Bamford's uh Is it Minnesota Mitch Hedberg folks. from there? Hedberg was, uh, yeah, was up there for a while. That's a good... I don't know. You keep them cold and sad. It makes good comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Something about the Midwest, like I get it. Like, then yeah. April second, your your special will be available everywhere for rental, etc. Parts of eight hundred pounds comedy month in April, free on YouTube premiere with commercials and live chat with fans. Oh yeah, I guess I'm doing that. If you read it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get ready for press, yeah, bro. I guess I'm doing live chat with fans. Wow, <laughs> man, that's the first. Well, the com- while well, the comedy is playing, yeah. You know, the first time I saw someone do that. Like, actually have a live YouTube special. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was Dane Cook, right? He was, Dane? He was the yeah. king of, like... He did a live YouTube going, special. Going to the stream, mm-hmm. but... No. But it was live, right? And then I think um, Fluffy did one, too, so try to do one. Yeah, George Lopez did a live HBO. Yeah, you, live HBO. I remember you Where did, it was just a one take. You did oh, a okay. MySpace live show with Gabriel, like, fucking 14 years ago at The Magic and Comedy. Remember? That's the one I was thinking about yeah, right now. Yeah, wow, it was man. a MySpace live show. I remember it. So they just uh, it uploaded live. it. It was streaming live. I remember With that. The comedy Damn. Magic. Yeah. Yeah. Which Damn. doesn't seem like it's that crazy nowadays. Now it's everywhere. Now it's huh? comic, but back then it was like, fuck, yeah. oh, dude, yeah. If you show a, a oh, live TikTok, um, live TikTok um, comedy show, and it's all filthy, dirty, and people are getting offended, they'll shut it down, huh? Oh, for sure, yeah. Uh, TikTok is different. Hey, have you seen I'm people sure. getting away with stuff on Instagram? Like, Imagine, I, I, I sent bro, Lisa a, a, a like video titties? only because, yeah, words like titties. It was some girl, she went like this, she had it on her face, and then she goes, boop, and then you could see, like, her cleavage right away. But then she put it back up. Yeah, her crotch, but, but her, she didn't like, get butt flat. No, she for had it though, like, right? her like this is just a, this is her cleavage, and the middle part was a thin underwear, and she just went real fast. Boop. Yeah. Oh shit! I man. mean, if people complain about it, then it'll get yeah. flat. Yeah, I think people complain that they're not enough. <laughs> yeah, hey, I dude. got, but they complain like they complain about the dumbest. I there was somebody who like drew pictures and like they had like what's a funny picture, and I thought like. A giraffe trying to hang itself, but it, it can't because it's got too much neck. <laughs> and like, so they sent me a cartoon. I'm like, it's a cartoon. And then they're like, they, they flagged it right away. I'm like, yeah, but he can't. Like, the stool doesn't work because yeah. it's got so much neck. <laughs> Fucking it's like, loopholes, it's pretty, bro. It's pretty funny. That is, that's hilarious. <laughs> but it was, it was a cartoon. It was like, clearly it was a silly thing, but. All right, man. I guess that's what people are sensitive about. I don't know. You've been flagged, bro? Maybe. Yeah. I have been flagged for uh, stupid shit, dude. Like, uh, I, I did a video over the holidays where I was trying to do like a parody of uh, The Office when Kevin drops the the what's the it chili. Oh, the chili. good yeah. one. So yeah. I, I did a pozole one, and it went it went crazy viral. And people were either there's like three people that li- like that were commenting. People that are like mad because I wasted food. People that are mad because it was a Easy stage video. Money. This is so staged. I'm like, yeah, it's a sketch. Yeah. So, so, but this, did they get you? Did they get you down? And then somebody, uh, I guess somebody flagged me on uh, on TikTok because they said it was uh, what's it called? It was uh, against community standards. Yeah, or and whatever. what the fuck? And, then, and, and bro, I submitted. You should, you should added more yeah. tests. Indian food, bro. And I, I know, right? <laughs> and I submitted a dispute, and they're like, "Oh, there's nothing wrong with the video." Oh, somebody was just pissed off because I dropped food, and then yeah. So there it is, right there. Look. Yes, yeah, so I just made it like yeah. 
And people were like, oh, dude, this is so <laughs> fake, bro. Like, it was a fake menudo, too, right? I, I, I made it, like, so quick. It was just like... Uh, oh, so you really wasted food. It was like tomato sauce. It was <laughs> hominy. You, you could just got water. But you used you real could, ingredients. That's I your mom's recipe, right? Cooked, you yeah. just water and tomato sauce, and that's it, bro. <laughs> but even then, people were saying, it looks so fake, bro. Oh, another time... <laughs> We we were in so um, in Washington like, yeah. somewhere, and we ran into this man that was walking. He was going, he was in his car, a station wagon, and he was catching people coming out of the Mexican store. And he went like this. He had like this round disc that looked like a fucking brick of cocaine. It looked like a kilo of cocaine. Yeah. And he had it wrapped like cocaine in the, in that cloth, right yeah. in that bucket. And he was, hey, hey, hey. and I was just joking with him, right? Oh, I don't want no coke. It's cheese. Mm -hmm. It's queso. So this fool made a video of him walking up to that man. That was in Idaho, in bro. In Idaho and buying a chunk of that cheese. And then he went He went to go cut I, it I up. I tasted it with my He, he tasted it like it was coke. <laughs> flagged. He got flagged, yeah. And, then, and, I, and I reposted <laughs> later on. And so people are just so like, I, I've been just getting messages like, oh, this is so staged. Said, yeah, because I, I try to make it look kind of real. How about the one you did, bro, about that little white kid with his guns? Fuck, that shit oh, still man. fucks with me, dude. Fucking, um... I, <laughs> <laughs> I uploaded that shit twice, though. Mm -hmm. On my regular, on the front, it was just, like, white kids uh, the, the day before school. And yeah. it's just a little, you know, like, little little Terry sleeping with an AK next to him. <laughs> 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 yeah. And it's like, dude, so many people were like, dude, oh, my God, this is savage. And then, boom, I get hit. Nastily, like if you do this again, it'll be like you know you get your account taken down. I had a like, picture, yeah, yeah, because we God, we better not bro. show that, but we'll show the footage. Oh, of the dude, but then that girl shooters. can show her fucking camel toe, yeah. dude. I, I had a picture of him like what? twenty, 20 like fifteen years uh -huh. ago, and his hair was uh, bushier, so he looked like a he looked like a young Pablo Escobar. You got fucked up from yeah. that. So I posted a photo. It was just we're hugging you like this, hashtag, right? and I said, "Young Pablo f Escobar." <laughs> I wrote Narcos. Medellin cartel, Pablo, <laughs> everything narcos. They really, they were gonna shut down my Instagram for Dude, that. Dude, but one. Uh, you know what's funny well, about that? Well, Since you tagged me on that shit, and they fucking when I opened it, it said the same shit too. Because my shit already got like seven hits, so it's like fuck, bro. Like but, I don't know if they're why, just gonna. But why would they? Because supposedly drug culture or fucking drug like I th um, but mentions. Know, I think you know what it is though too is that the people that are still on Instagram like. The kids Bots. that are looking at the psycho stuff, they're dude. already on 4chan. Yeah. You can't they're just tell looking, me that shit isn't they're, comedy, They're looking dude. at dead babies every day. Oh, it's they're fucked up as shit. They're on X videos and 4chan already. Like, Instagram doesn't. Yeah, yeah. Those are mom, Instagram somebody's is baby mom is shit, upset. dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, did, I did a video. Because those are just haters in the end, I think. Yeah, yeah. I did a video during the pandemic. Because you remember they were having, like, the... Those meals at McDonald's, like the Travis Scott meal? Yeah. So I did, like, a Snoop Dogg meal with yeah. the fake weed inside the burger. Then I did another one. That one, uh, Snoop Dogg shared it, and I did another one. <laughs> I go, I, I, I go to Wiener Schnitz. I'm like, oh, I got the, I got the Caitlyn Jenner meal, and then it's just a hot dog with no weenie, and that was it. <laughs> Stop before, making fun of my mom. People come lady, like it went. People would come lady, and I'll say, <laughs> that's a word, though. and I'll say, oh, and because uh, it's true, I have two transgender cousins, and uh, yeah. that's like saying you have a black friend, bro. <laughs> Philip, look for Bush Escobar videos during TikTok. Uh, all your black friends are in show <laughs> business. Oh man, my friend got bad. Um, <laughs> shout out to leave. Bush Escobar. He works the the door at the Improv now. Big bald dude with a big beard. Yeah. He had the funniest video during the pandemic. Cause there was this late, there was this um, oh, white nurse, this right? nurse, this white lady, and she's crying like this. Mm -hmm. Lost another patient, and it's like in the eye, oh, real okay. sad music. And she's, like, and she's like this. So my friend, he did a video of himself, like the dead guy, with a with a phone in his mouth. <laughs> like that. <film laughs> <laughs> I mean the lady. Isn't that a fucking hilarious? Oh, there it is. Play it, bro. Play it. <laughs> <laughs> no! Not that one. <laughs> What'd you do? There's like a different version. <laughs> yeah, DJ Khaled. <laughs> Anyways, he he um he did the video, and then it went viral, and yeah. then it was pulled down, and then she did it with another person. But they didn't pull that one. They down. didn't pull down hers. Yeah. Yeah, People are just, just so. Offended. But that was funny, man. Because he was like, there was a phone in his mouth. Yeah, please. <laughs> that is hilarious, though. I feel like, yeah, somebody got on me like before I got verified on Instagram. Like, people were just paying to promote their own accounts. And it was just like rip dudes that, like, they'll just show up. Like, to it's Steve and he's in your feet. So I just screenshot it and make fun of him. People are like, you using 
this without their permission. I'm oh like, my oh. god! Dude, they Who pay, are they you, paid bro? to interrupt my stuff. Oh, you, fuck if you yeah. paid, if you made a commercial. That's full reign. Yeah, yeah, put it out there, bro. Yeah, like, I get, come on. I get to tag your billboard, man. Public That's how domain, it's gonna go. bro. Yeah. I swear that shit ain't gonna fucking be able to get that. Fill up dates, January twenty second through the twenty sixth. You know it. Mm-hmm. I'll be at the impractical, impractical jokes. Bahamas, fully low. What's it called? Fully, Ship, uh, shipwreck. Shipwreck with the impractical jokers, man. Tickets still yeah, available yeah. for that. Get your tickets. Get your passport. We're leaving to Nassau. There it is Ready right there. Oh, ship oh, look at that. That's going to be a good time. Man. February 1st through the 3rd, Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah. February 9th, Minneapolis. Uh, February 10th, Lincoln, Nebraska. February 15th through the 17th, East Providence, Rhode Island. February 23rd through the 24th, Richmond, Virginia. March 1st, San Jose, California. Tickets available at FelipeWorld.com. Also, man, Sacramento, we haven't announced it yet. It's still up in the air. I might be shooting my next special in June in Sacramento. Hell yeah. So, man, if you want to, I'm not doing no show in Modesto or nowhere near there because we're trying to sell out these shows at the Crest Theater. Look out for that, man. What's up, fool? You have an Instagram? People can follow you? Yeah, it's just Kyle Kinane on everything. Kyle Kinane, people. K-I-N-A-N-E. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Then mm-hmm. the people at Casa Torres, I won't be there next week. I'll be there in February, so I'll be in the Bahamas. Hell yeah, dude. I'm jealous of that. Casa story. Torres is still going down? Well, I guess he uh, revamped it, so they're going to do it next Tuesday, but we're going to be the, gone. The best flyer tortilla. Also, next week, we have more podcasts. We have uh, Shane Torres and... Yeah. We have Andy Frasco. Andy Frasco. That's, that's dropping next week. Oh, yeah. Shane Torres. Yeah, Shane the and Mexican, I do a podcast. Yeah, we What's up, man? Together. Thank you, man. Cool as hell, man. Thanks for having me. Oh, yeah. Surprised yeah. we never met before. I'm glad we didn't because I was I was doing bad stuff. Quick question. <laughs> What's I up? I probably would have done bad if, stuff too. <laughs> if you want to plug a year in uh, Shane's podcast. Oh, yeah. We do oh, no, yeah. Plug we it. We do no accounting for taste. Me and okay, the blue eyed Mexican himself. That's on all. Oh, yeah. ATC. Dude. Yeah. Oh, and nice. there's a new episode of Spanish Los Podcasts of the Norte. Orale. Fucking the the something.